okay so I'm gonna start again with the dollar index and let's go to the daily chart so from yesterday's market review I marked out these levels so this line here this red line here was uh, this uh, low of th that day and that this red line here was the high here and where price was at at the time of recording I said I want to see this hold if it's gonna push up right take out this double top here then I want to see price hold that and obviously push up from there we had that happen today and look what it's coming to so it's it came up to that um, sorry this red line here so I'm gonna remove that for now Just don't really need that for now and where do you go into so see this low here go to the daily came to that low there and we've got this low here as well but this low here as well this was just a spike through it's coming to that low here and it's coming off of it so this is a you know support becomes resistance now scenario what's also interesting is um, I mean we didn't take out that high there uh, let me just check something no nope, we didn't take that high out there but at the moment I mean, it's not real real clear read to me I'm not gonna lie um, I'm not sure if I want to take any live trades at the moment but I want to read price anyway so I said that for me to see if there's a top in I want to see a rip up right so we've had that rip up okay and I want to see this broken so if say for example this breaks right a break through that would signify to me the top's in and then I'd look for downside object this low here so I already spoke about these levels already so in the previous market review we marked out this low here uh, for downside targets and if we were to break this high here which was this top red line then we would continue going up into what this daily uh, block here filling this void on a daily basis so if we look on the daily chart just on the candlestick patterns alone yesterday right it broke the pre monday's high and it closed below the high and today it spiked up bigger spike now and closed below this and it's closing it's starting to close within the Monday's range so I'm sort of getting a bearish tone now could uh, com um, you know going over what's happening in this I'm getting some sort of bearish tone so I'm it's still tough at the moment I'm not finding it clear but so I mean even if I'm not taking the trade I still want to know I still want to mark out some sort of scenario for price to do and maybe during the day after London's opened or you know throughout the day sometimes price action clears up and even if it's an intraday scalp that's that's not too bad so if I go into the four hour um, I think if this here gives in then obviously I'm gonna start hunting shorts and I'm gonna say the high of the week is in okay so at the moment I'm standing on the sideline here um, if we continue up this holds going to London we, f we start finding support and this holds then obviously continuation up and that but as it stands at the moment the way the daily is looking I'm more towards the bearish side for the dollar and to support that idea I'm just gonna look at the dollar Swiss right if we look at the dollar Swiss on a daily chart right where is it coming to this daily block here right so I'm looking across the majors, which majors are sort of finding, helping me find support. Look where the dollar is coming into, right? Overall well, bearish this market was run up and it's filled the uh, gap in, void in, into resistance. At the same time, what do we have? We have the dollar index into resistance level as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a block, but it's in a resistance level. If we look on a weekly um, chart, look at this. So I'm going to draw out from the bodies, okay? like I said that's where the volume is at from the open to the close right so the open of last week and close of last week was 97.22 and 95.60 so let's do that 97.22 95.60 okay now look at this it's 50% of the retracement right it's finding resistance at 50% of last week's range let me just do it of the wicks as well see if it makes any difference Um, the high is 
46 and the low is 43 so let's do that 46 43 and yeah same thing right see how it's finding resistance there so there's a few things lining up now so i mean like i said there's no need to take a trade right now that's one part one of you know your criteria met you know all the the daily candle it's at 50 percent of last week's range right it's traced up to that usually 50 percent of the range um usually sort of does seem to copy and i mean basic support and resistance here support big bounce off here yes we broke it here but this was and then we go as soon as we got back above that boom shot up so this still holds for me there's more action that, that was here i prefer that level going into the daily uh i mean sorry weekly that level here see that here see this block here was acting as a uh, resistance we bring that across here it's right back into that a reclaimed block okay so and if we look right i prefer to use i mean this is more of a chunky uh, bullish candle it's right up here against that so it's still it's come right into a resistance now so we need breakdown okay we need a breakdown so far this is looking decent to me i like the fact that it's been an efficient grind down yeah efficiently it's been moving down and the way it's looking to me it's not a fast move down. normally fast moves right it starts getting people short and then you know turns whereas this is efficient strong trading so is that making sense so far yep that's just my analysis and the dollar index and the dollar says so far okay so that's that um now let me switch charts and get to the other majors and what they're showing me so if we switch to um hang on a minute let me just fix this recording yep okay so let's start with the cable now i'm still not getting a clear read i mean i was I really hoped that we would, would get this gut fill but the fact that if price is struggling to go down it's sort of telling me at the same time so i gotta think on the other side if it's struggling to go down right what does that mean you know we've had dollar index coming to that resistance level as, as explained dollar swiss into that uh bearish order block okay um now what we've done we've obviously this is a clearer stop right now we've cleared this i mean the stops so whatever stops the rest of it, i think we have cleared it here you could argue i'm gonna let me just clear this up let me just draw a clear line so the law of this candle is 129.157 129, 159 157 okay now you know someone can argue well it's only a spike it's not much but now i mean okay now we've come clearly under it but back above that now we keep we're moving back above that now so what does that show it says that these fuckers right they want to they don't want to send it low just yet anyway and with what's happening in the dollar you know it makes sense for it to now possibly move up so i'm gonna wait like i said there was no signal uh, for me to take a trade on on this um as I explained yesterday for me to have taken a long uh, when price was action was here i said i want to rally up break market structure so break this and then drop did we get that no we had that move up but we did not break this market structure here so no longs for me there and as you can see it just fell but let's come back above that okay so what this could be could be a low a lower low and then a higher low if that forms right and then we get a break of this high here and that shows to me a strong probability that the low is in once we know the low is in then we just start hunting longs like there's no tomorrow and we know where the targets are fill in this take out this high and then 130 50 okay so i'm still waiting for now prices to tell me you know i'll wait days but when it comes that setup will be solid and i'll compound many positions on there um but for now i still need to let price unfold i don't if if it's to remain bullish i do not want to see this low taken okay i want to see this block hold and you see how they formed the block right under this support level so support support dip back down dip back below that so to make that clear 
let's draw a little box here because I like drawing boxes and then any dips into there and then move back above that level here and then retest and store grinding up and just at the, at the same time we've got the dollar index grinding down coming off of that key resistance level so I'm gonna keep an eye on this ideally I want to see a break of this once this start once this breaks then for me um, I'd uh, sorry, sorry that. yeah break of this would I'd see that as a market structure break so I'd want to see a movement away and a break in mark structure then I dip back down knowing low so possible scenario is if I draw uh, circles it should be a geometry lesson with all these boxes rectangles and circles being drawn so we've got uh, a low a low a low and then a higher low right if that's the case that's like a bottom in swing low in and then start hunting the longs so far the price has to give me what I want um, cable has given me dollar index has given me part of it so all the current the pairs I'm looking at now they're giving me a, por a part of you know the first half of what's required for me to take the trade idea I want but the others haven't okay so we'll wait no, no need to rush in yes there's scalps available throughout the day this that the other but there's no clear clear uh, setup where he, there's no uh, that's a no-brainer this is gonna go here Mark hasn't given me that yet. I'm struggling. I am struggling to long this with this gap here. It doesn't necessarily have to fill, but I would like it to fill. It could fill in later on, but I would like it to fill in. Um, but what the, what's happening now with the dollar? I don't. I do not want to see this fill in. You know, I want to see start pushing up. So we'll have to wait and see with that. Is that clear? Is everyone clear with that on the cable? I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. But I'm going to give you my thoughts anyway, even when there's no setups I'm I'm trying to show you how I'm thinking about the market okay is that clear please leave questions till afterwards we'll take questions later on for now just go with the flow so that's cable done let's go to euro okay euro same thing um, I should just keep the same charts that has previously so that's the resistance levels you know this consolidation here broken up we will retest at the same time if you look at this euro right you see this block here just draw the bodies okay that was what a bearish order block wasn't it see that there resistance sell off sell off and then the big motherfucking sell off right that's 950 pixels sell off that caused there right we've broken above that now retest so if that's the case is there any we sh if this is to hold i don't really want to see this get filled in now okay so so far it's showing that it's getting support it's finding support and this is similar to um uh cable where you know low and then lower low i want to see this high get broken so if this high gets broken here right what's this then this is now an order block isn't it this qualifies as an order block now I'm gonna, I'm gonna. okay so what do I want to see then if if th this gets taken a retest into there and then long this son of a bitch up okay is that clear so that's what I'll be looking for okay um, and like I said, uh, like keep in mind what's happening in the dollar at the same time. Keep going back to, is it fitting the dollar scenario? What is the dollar scenario that we've just been through into that resistance level? What's this coming to now? Um, into support, like I mentioned here. And not only that, I mean, we've already retested this level here. So we don't really need it to come back down. Yeah, I think it squeezed enough people out that were, you know, short long. So I'm, I still believe this stops here. And I'm still, if this gives in, if this log gives in, then I do believe we're going lower. But un until this gives in, then we're staying, uh, I think we're still bullish, okay? But it's just not an easy long to take, in my opinion, right now. So, you're all clear with my Euro, yeah? 
what I'm looking for and then my targets obviously would be these highs here and uh, like I said 1.16 1.17 as marked out in the previous videos okay is that clear so that's clear that's what I'll be looking for I want this to nicely break up break this structure high here these highs there dip back down and then similar with um, cable we've got uh oh shit okay we've got a low a low a low and then possibly a high i want to see a higher low don't want to see this break and then start hunting longs okay but we need everything to line up first um that's that done not going to look at cad kiwi dollar this level here is still holding right but this time we chose to want to take out the stops here so i spoke about this level previously support resistance it's still holding that the level is still holding but look it's coming down taking out the previous day's low coming down taking out the previous day's low again and spiking up it keeps spiking up uh, look at the candles wicks are forming so this i think this buying unfolding here which again lining up with what my um uh bearish dollar stance so if i just get rid of this i'll do my chart again um the reason why i always clean my chart and do it again is just to reinforce um see if there's any cha if there's any changes in the market or if things are looking different then it forces me to do my levels again so i don't get stuck with one opinion of the levels I've drawn previously so it's sort of um, a way I've sort of dealt with uh, that so they open again it's for my own sake having to do levels that like, each evening unless they're like weekly or monthly levels that's different so 72623 72623 okay we're still holding that you know until this breaks I'd still longer term be bullish if this breaks then I think it's not just gonna stop there I think it's gonna go a lot lower and there's a lot low um, downside targets I'd say fill this gap in here take out this low fill this gap in this that would be my target this would be another target but that's if this gives in at the moment it's still holding so still bullish okay I think what this market is trying to do is trying to get a lot of shorts in I mean the way it's looking right every time it tries to make a low it goes pushes back up every time it tries to make a low it pushes back up and that's same things happening across all the other pairs as well majors so um it's not clean easy like when you're trying to short it it's not least resistant to the downside but um i'll still have to wait like i said uh it's not really really clear yet unless we break this so say for example this is support support clean breakthrough it retest then um start selling but till then although i'm more bullish this i there's no clear lungs for me on this either okay but we'll have to go with what the price action is telling us let it let it prove to us let it show us that it wants to go in a certain direction at the moment i don't think it is yes short term trading that's fine day trades you know you may be able to get a short there long there but it's not very very clear for a long term setup or a decent setup so we still got our eye on this but if i'm correct on the dollar then this should start going up as well okay aussie dollar okay so i explained that i thought kiwi and aussie pass had a possible low in um it still hasn't proved to me that it's low it did push up aussie dollar but then it came back down now let's look at i did look at previously the weekly charts but another way of looking at it as well is these candles down um a uh, four day order block so if i draw from the bodies and if i draw the 50 percent here okay it's spiked into that and back above that okay aussie lungs are looking clearer to me than kiwi lungs okay um technically however we still need to get above um looking at the four hour okay so let's look at what's happened so it's come down and it looked like okay it wanted more stops it's come down and take these stops out and notice this notice this right you see across all the major we've just been through so we made a low and then a lower low and a back above that low so if i just do this a different color just so i can show it visually so if i just do this in um, say blue and this okay 
but this low here and let's just do the unblock they like almost giving turtle suit patterns low and in into there up again back to kiwi makes that low yeah breaks that low back above again look at euro is, is that low takes out the low back above again and similar with cable they all sort of giving similar patterns right now low takes out the low back above again like almost turtle suit patterns um so idea so on this same thing i want to see this high get taken right if this high gets taken then i dip back down i want to see this low hold it's the same thing same thing as excluding others once we know the lows in then start hunting longs for now there's no long trigger for me just yet want to see this high get taken smashed through and then um retest of the order block formed so so far it's efficient movement up i want to see price what price is like once it breaks this once it smashes through this then a retest into an order block that would have formed and then up up and away okay so and i don't want to see this low taken so as a swing trade i could just yeah let's not get into that now that's what i'm looking for same thing again um what's gonna be next is dollar is gonna be looking interesting as well so like i said i'm still observing we do have resistance here as well so if you look at this right resistance and then support here we're still below um so we've come down and we're below this ideally so if i want to get that long i want to see market push up above this resistance level and then hopefully there's like an order block formed right under it so it'll be support and then look to buy so we'll have to see what price is like once that happens what are the aussie the kiwi euro and cable showing at the same time but i'm more inclined to take cable and euro i only take aussie and kiwi as a backup if there's nothing clear on the cable and euro okay um and the final pay i'm going to go through is dollar yen so i've done dollar Swiss already but dollar yen now what's interesting about dollar yen um i've left that to last for a reason so we've got this block here but then we've got also this this would be the parent block this is where the selling initiated from from this swing high okay the high and then this is the smaller block here okay so what this has done is technically this will still be valid to me right this is still valid to me okay so it spiked up into that okay now um you can't take this block that's fine i don't mind this game broken that that's fair but as long as this high hasn't taken we will be bearish now i've been in two minds about this right so when i was um it's been a bit tricky but the way this candles form now that it couldn't find momentum to continue upside is sort of okay now i'm questioning what is happening here and with the dollar index giving me what it has i'm sort of thinking okay this could be a top in place now let's look so we've got this here now previous before this happened we had this high here okay so this high was 113.467 113.467 now if i draw this right 20 pips above let's do a different color 113.467 113.467 okay that's 20 plus 20 points that is from that high to there look where that comes in now six six seven six six seven okay i think we could have a top in here and not only that i mean if you look right we've topped out taken the stops into the daily block dropped retest of this into here okay retested it and that's drifting lower now and this could be a possible top in place now um yeah so that's that and not only that the daily candle will run up took out yesterday's highs and monday's high and closed what beneath within the range right so it makes sense for it to at least take out this low and fill in this gap at least for so the rest of this gap we have here so we're going to the lower time frame you can 
makes sense for it to go lower now if the dollar index is topped out so I'm not still not taking a position yet so tomorrow even if it means I'll take tomorrow I'll just watch tomorrow if tomorrow should give me more confirmation of price action okay and then if it really clear for NFP I'll take a trade with NFP I've done it before if it's clear I'll take a trade unless it's I'm unsure about something then I won't but it's not advisable but that's just what I do sometimes okay so let's just see how this progresses now so the main reason was not just give you clear levels here 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 it's just to show you how I'm thinking about price action as price develops because that's important as well you know this is part of sitting on your hands okay watching price develop is it doing as you expected if it's not then okay ideas off go back to the drawing board let price unfold Let's mark out another scenario is it doing what is uh, what you expected to and if it is then okay good then what else do you expect to happen after that to give you your entry and if that lines up as well then you've got your entry simple as that so i'm just going to stop the recording and then we can um do questions